Get ready to strap in for a wild ride through the frozen wastelands of TV history, because Ice Road Truckers is about to take center stage. This show isn't just legendary, it's the stuff of trucking dreams. Picture this, massive 18-wheelers barreling through blizzards, navigating treacherous ice roads like it's just another day at the office. And boy, did it make an entrance, hitting the airwaves on June 17th, 2017, and keeping us glued to our screens for a solid decade before finally bowing out on November 9th, 2017. But hold on to your parkas, folks, because we're about to peel back the frosty layers and dive deep into the Hugh Rowland controversy. Now, if you've ever heard of a trucking legend, Hugh Polar Bear, Rowland fits the bill perfectly. This guy practically had diesel pumping through his veins from the moment he could crawl. By the time he hit 11, he was already a seasoned pro behind the wheel of those mammoth rigs. And let me tell you, he's seen it all. Blizzards, whiteouts, you name it. They don't call him Polar Bear for nothing. But when the producers of Ice Road came knocking, Hugh thought it was just his buddies pulling a fast one. I mean, who in their right mind would want to watch truckers skidding around on ice, right? But when they showed up on his doorstep, cameras in hand, Hugh couldn't resist the siren call of adventure. And adventure is exactly what he delivered. Fans couldn't get enough of his daring escapades and heart-pounding maneuvers. He became the undisputed king of the ice road, and he wore that crown like a boss. Of course, no journey worth its salt is without its bumps in the road, and Hugh had his fair share of close calls. From dodging avalanches in the Andes to narrowly avoiding a collision with a runaway moose, he stared death in the face more times than he can count. But it was one fateful day with producer Will Morrison at the wheel that changed everything. They were cruising along, minding their own business when disaster struck. One wrong turn, one split-second decision, and they went from ice road heroes to snowbank casualties faster than you can say black ice. Hugh's career came to a screeching halt, leaving him battered, bruised, and sidelined for the foreseeable future. And let's not forget about poor Diane Rowland, left to pick up the pieces of her shattered dreams. But Hugh isn't one to back down from a challenge, and he sure as heck wasn't about to let this one defeat him. No, sir, he dusted himself off, lawyered up, and took on the ice road bigwigs with all the ferocity of a polar bear in a blizzard. The legal battle was long and grueling, but Hugh fought tooth and nail for what he believed in. And while the outcome may have been uncertain, one thing was crystal clear. Hugh Rowland wasn't going down without a fight. Since then, Hugh has been keeping busy. He's traded in his trucker hat for a hard hat and thrown himself into the world of construction. But that's not all. He's also become a published author. His book, On Thin Ice, Breakdowns, Whiteouts, and Survival on the World's Deadliest Roads, is a gripping tale of trucking triumphs and icy escapades that's sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. As for his social media presence, well, let's just say he's taken a bit of a hiatus. But fear not, because rumors abound that his trucking empire, BB Express, is still going strong, serving up frozen goods to the good people of Winnipeg and beyond. So here's to Hugh Rowland, the trucking legend who refused to let a little thing like a career-ending accident slow him down. Cheers to you, Polar Bear, and here's to whatever frosty adventures lie ahead. And if you've enjoyed this epic tale as much as we have, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button for more icy updates straight from the heart of the frozen tundra.